career review tonight. It's been a long week. Friday, finally. I thought I'd come home and hopefully I'm going to treat myself to this guy here. Hopefully it's something up my alley. Founders, backwards, 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 bastard. I believe it's like a, a Scotch Ale, wee heavy, aged in oak bourbon barrels. 10.2% ABV on this. It was bottled September of 2012 and sent to me. Who else? Average Joe. Far from average. Appreciate it, man. And yeah, one more. 50 IBUs. Very excited to get into this one. Let it warm up on the counter. Get to that nice uh, serving temperature. Let's get a pour. Look, guys, pretty murky. It definitely has that uh, swampy look to it. Lots of little floaties in there. Probably, you know, almost two years of aging. That sediment, I poured it in. But yeah, it's that really deep mahogany brown, but that real swampy look. Kind of that fizzy soda pop head on it. Looks like the cola kind of head. Let's dive into the aroma. Wow, it smells great, wow. Man, I get that, uh, that caramel. Caramel always comes to mind for me with these, kind of, I get that, it's that rich maltiness. So it's, for me, caramel, kind of that raisin, brown sugar. You get the oak, you get, man, I get some good vanilla in there too. Oh man, definitely get that nice vanilla quality. Is that caramel or kind of butterscotch? Wow. Oh man, that just smells phenomenal. So you maybe get a slight kind of the bourbon character, but I think that oaky, the tannins from that, that vanilla, man, that's just really popping on it. Smells, uh, smells fucking beautiful. I'm going to dig into it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Joe. Close to the aroma, I don't get the. What, what am I getting there? That's. Hmm. I think maybe on on the aroma, maybe not as strong, but quite a bit of that. Not quite a bit, but the oakiness is definitely there. That bourbon, the oak, it's on the flavor. Oh, it's good. Caramel rich maltiness there's that dark fruit thing i get the raisin kind of what i reference that to definitely that brown sugar and just now just got a little bit of warmth there but you should get something at 10 percent but other than that i couldn't i would never guess it was so up there in the abv almost that syrupy kind of mouthfeel to it. It's not it's not a heavy, but it, it's really medium, big, beefy mouthfeel to it. Mm, founders. Everything I've had from them has just been so damn good. Wow. For that style, for the Scotch Ale, or a wee heavy, whatever you want to call it. This is absolutely the best I have ever had, easily. Because I can't remember having a lot that I've really, or too memorable, or that I even really enjoyed, but this, oh man, it's really, really good. <laughs> I 
uh, dark fruit is just popping now big time. What a hell, the hell of a good beer. Man, that's tasty. I think this one, the old curmudgeon from them, are just phenomenal barrel-aged beers. And I'm really excited for KBS now to try that one. But, hmm, great for this guy. Well, for me, it's near, it's near perfect. It's pretty brilliant stuff. And even if you're drinking on it, sipping on it, that aroma, every time you go to the glass, it's big, it's complex, it just kind of changes from nose to nose on it. Oh, man. It's good stuff, guys. Founders. Man, I hope we get these guys showing up soon here because they are making spectacular beers. This one is no exception. Um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give it a 95. It's like right up there, damn good beer. What more can I say? Gotta say thanks again to Joe for hooking me up. I appreciate the hell out of trying this one. And yeah, thanks for joining me on the review guys. Till the next one, cheers.